To change the game, first you have to get kids in the game. That's part of the mission at Sportsman's Tennis and Enrichment Center located in Dorchester's Harambe Park. The center has been providing access to tennis in the city for more than 60 years. There are so many sports that are played in this area and for tennis to be one of them is really crucial. So we provide tennis lessons for kids from four years old and up, but we also provide academic support recognizing what the community needs right now in this day and time. Including a community wellness center. Partnering with Brigham and Women's Hospital, Sportsman's is able to bring healthcare services to the Blue Hill Corridor community. Things like hypertension and diabetes and stroke prevention, we've had a very deep engagement with the community throughout the COVID crisis. We provided testing when this all first began. We've provided vaccines since July. CEO Tony Wiley grew up within walking distance of the tennis club, but never played here as a kid. I grew up here in Dorchester, but went to Newton Public Schools through the METCO program. Since 1966, the METCO program has granted students from larger cities the ability to attend public school in districts outside their city. It allowed it allowed me to see the disparity of what was available and accessible to me as a student in Newton. It's important for me to be able to create an opportunity for kids right here in Boston to have some of those same opportunities to experience a non-traditional sport and to experience it in a way that high quality lessons are accessible and affordable to anybody who wants them and that kids who have athletic promise can experience all that tennis has to offer and really do the best that they can do right here in their own community. By offering need-based scholarships, Sportsman's Tennis and Enrichment Center aims not only to bring tennis to residents of the neighborhood, but after-school programs and much more. Charlene Mind Smart is the director of the center's enrichment programs. Our students come directly from school. Most times they're coming in, getting right into homework and doing things like that. Today is a great day, it's Friday, it's fun day. And a great day for Mayfree Moretta. It's a really good place. These teachers are really nice. They help you with your homework. And they work on a continuing dialogue between police and youth with the Volley Against Violence program. We change the game in the way that police and youth understand one another and communicate with one another by giving them the ability to get to know one another in a friendly, non-confrontational setting for kids to understand the role of police, the role that they play every day in society, and also for police to understand and to remind them that kids are kids. But at the end of the day, it all comes back to tennis and lessons learned on the court. Tennis is a sport that really teaches life skills. It teaches you patience. It teaches you perseverance and resilience. Regardless of what's happening out there on the court, if you miss a point, it's important to just let it go because the next point is coming. And that's another life lesson. You can't dwell on what has happened in the past. You have to move forward, learn from it, and move forward. It's just been a place over all of these years that is safe for the community, is safe for the neighborhood. It is the neighborhood, so the neighborhood treats it as such, and we treat the neighborhood as we're all one big family. As CEO Tony Wiley said, Sportsman's offers scholarships for free and low-cost lessons. Wiley says organizers don't factor in zip codes when they set tournament seeds, so young players from the city should be able to play and practice with people at their own ability level, and cost shouldn't be a barrier. And that is Chronicle for tonight. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Anthony Everett. See you back here tomorrow night.